Okay, so this week, um, and in a lot of the notes postings, uh, I liked what people were saying about teaching, about the image, uh, about collage, and even the Rolling Stone article that uh, Jennifer Tishini was talking about. Um, and uh, But I didn't see anyone talking really about uh, Bart's body and knowledge, which I wanted to talk about. Um, so one of the things that uh, Omer mentions is that metaphors help people get into the vicinity of knowledge as opposed to like dominating knowledge or claiming to have all the information about a certain subject. Uh, so this is different in that it just uh, intends to talk about a subject, get close to a subject that one doesn't necessarily completely understand or cannot actually understand in terms of uh, it's not possible to put it into words. Um, one of the main terms that he uses for this is the Akron Boldo, Akron Boldo, which uh, I think in the 80s there was a music video uh, called like Sledgehammer or something where they're making someone's face out of a bunch of cut up fruit and, um, and then that image changes and all that. But the point is that there's a lot of images that get put together to create a different idea. Um, so continuing on with Homer's uh, book, um, one of the advantages of, of uh, talking about things in this way is that images can get to the unconscious, which is uh, things that we are, can't articulate, but you have a strong influence on our lives. Um, so uh, that's where Bart's body of knowledge comes in, in, the, in that he was focusing on things that came from his uh, things he was feeling and using that as a point from which to talk about uh, things that were important to him or, or bring up different images that got to the nature of whatever he was sort of studying. Um, so one question will be, how do we make uh, knowledge available now? Um, apparently, uh, <clears throat> one of the things that uh, Malcolm X complained about was that there was a lot of information printed about history that was extremely important, but these histor uh, historians didn't make that knowledge available to people uh, in a way that he would have liked. So now, today, we can make things available through, you know, obviously online, different methods like that. Um, and uh, one final point in uh, Omer's uh, essay is about teaching, and that um, the way teaching will transform now um, will have to do with the use of images and being able to use images well in, um, in being able to teach as opposed to, like, um, book, textbook-based knowledge. Um, uh, one thing about using images, I think it's very much similar to uh, the way writers or fiction writers write. They describe images, which creates images in people's minds. Uh, and the whole series of these, used to call them allegories, but I think a collage type set of images works differently than an allegory. But the point is that all those things end up creating a perception of something that maybe words can't give, uh, can't provide. And I think that doing that well is a lot different than um, taking uh, and saying, okay, here's a bunch of images that I think are cool. Um, and so it takes some kind of awareness or sense that might come from the body by the, the person who's creating this series of images um, to, uh, to, to be able to do that well. So thank you so much.